Good morning. This is what I look like when I wake up. We're gonna be doing a get ready with me today. I couldn't tell you the last time I did one of these and I washed my hair last night and I let my hair air dry. Again, I couldn't tell you the last time I actually blue dry my hair. It was probably sometime in the summer when I came home from the beach, decided to wash it and dry it to go out for the night. I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to see, my everyday makeup or my like video date night going out makeup. You guys said my everyday makeup. This is what I use every single day. It's easy to travel with. It looks like a little Louis Vuitton style look to it. It is from Amazon. I think it's around $25, $30. It opens up. Guys, this thing holds so much stuff. It is crazy. I have my mirror because usually I'm getting ready upstairs. And on one side, I have my brush cleaner and all of my brushes. And on the other side, I have all of my makeup that I use. It's not a lot. I use a Real Techniques makeup sponge. I love these. I am using the Color Science, what is the name of this? I'll put all the information down below, but this is a tinted SPF with an SPF of 50 in it. I put a good amount on there and it looks white, right? Actually, you know what? Let's do half and I'm gonna show you. How crazy is this? This stuff is the best. This is the color medium and it works for me. It just works great. Can you see the difference in how much more even my skin looks? I've done nothing else, right? I'm telling you, it's crazy. I do use a good amount of this because it is your SPF. So this is not normally how much I would use <laughs> if it was like an actual foundation. And make sure I go all the way down my neck too because I want that SPF down there. And then I just, because I'm using the flat side of this, I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping until the white goes away and everything looks even. So if you've been following me, I have been on my winter capsule starting. So I'm waiting for some pieces to come in and then I'm gonna probably next week do a video all about it. I am so excited. It's, I was never really excited about winter clothes. This year I am. My all time favorite bronzer. It is the Laura Geller bronze, baked bronze in the color fair. I am almost down to the end on this one. I already got a backup. I just get this on Amazon. The brush, I don't even know what this is from, Pro Powder. Maybe it's a Sephora one, it looks like. I wash my brush brushes, these brushes, once a week on Sundays with that brush cleaner that you saw in there. That brush cleaner I also use every single day. I have whatever's left on the brush just around these edges. But all I'm doing is right here and right here. I use this on my sponge too. Oh my gosh, it makes such a difference on your sponge. Then my go-to concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape. The key is finding a concealer that has the right color for you. I think this is called Medium Light Honey. Yes, it's weird that medium come, I'm at the end of this too. I already ordered another one because it was on sale. So I do there and there, and then I go back in, do a little bit here, down the center of my nose, and then where, so I have like more freckles and kind of like, not uneven skin, but like blotchiness in these areas. So I tend to do that. So I just take that same sponge and I start in the center and then I go to the sides and see how that's just cleaning that up. And it's kind of helping. I don't need concealer or foundation like everywhere with this. So this works really nice. If you are interested in seeing my full like video recording and kind of like date night makeup, let me know. Um, I asked two questions over on Instagram. I asked, do you want date night makeup or do you want everyday makeup? And I asked, do you want my hair parted in the center or on the side? Tarte Shape Blush Tape in the color Berry. I've been using this for so long. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite 
I can, I've been through so many of these. If you follow, I also do empties videos and there are so many of these I have used through the time and emptied them out. So I'm not putting it, in, I'm just putting it in this back area and then whatever's left, I work up to my cheek. It kind of lifts you up a little bit when you don't have as much close to your nose and on the actual apples of your cheeks. Quick and easy, my go-to is the MAC MSF Natural in the color medium right now. In the summer, I'm medium plus the Hourglass. Guys, if you can only get one brush, I had always thought the big version was like the great one. I've had this forever. I have a couple of them. It's so good. But I was like, I don't need this. It's basically the same. Oh my gosh, you do. So I just take the more tapered side and I go around in this and then I go around on my eyes and just kind of tap it in and move it around. Again, I'm gonna set just on one side and show you the difference. Actually, I have to set my whole nose, right? You can't really do half. So I take that tapered area and I'm just staying around my eyes. I'm not really setting where the bronzer was. That was a little hard to talk through. Or the blush. I'm just going kind of actually where the concealer was. So look at the difference there from one side to the other. But I still keep that highlighted and contoured and blushed look right there. So then I go around, same thing. I'm just tapping it in and I kind of go over my eyebrows and in this center area, and then again, down through these areas and back through here. So yes, winter capsule is coming up. Fall capsule I'm still playing with some things with. Uh, the same Lara Geller, I use it on just a little taper brush and I just take that and kind of do from the crease up. Again, nothing special, nothing crazy. It's just giving a little bit of dimension to my eye. Uh, so yeah, so fall capsule, I'm still doing a lot of those pieces and I do a transition. I'm transitioning those items so that I, because my ultimate goal is to build a full wardrobe that transitions from season to season with pieces I use over and over. Then I just take a flat brush, flat like shader type brush, smudger brush, and I just take a little bit in that outer corner there, smudge it in. I'm not going all the way, I kind of go to the iris of my eyes. Same thing on this side. So yes, I'm using a lot of the pieces from fall into winter, but that was kind of my objective. My objective was never, I've seen so many people that kind of do a whole new wardrobe every season, and that's not what I'm looking to do. I am truly looking to find items that I'm going to love and use over and over year after year. I do take a wet Q-tip and clean up my brows because they are microbladed. So I am using a lot of transition pieces right now, adding in some of the pieces I already own that are going to be in my winter capsule. And then like, you know, coats, I got a couple scarves, this sweatshirt I have on, ugh. I am in love with a cashmere like hoodie sweatshirt. I think I got this one from Saks Fifth Avenue or Bloomingdale's, I don't remember which one, because I wanted like kind of a heathered blue. I love it. This is just that comfortable style, but then also it's elevated from just a traditional sweatshirt. So now I'm taking my eyelash curler and I do a couple pumps down at the base of my lashes and I hold it for five or 10 seconds and I do the same thing three more times. So I do have a whole video all about my thoughts on what I'm thinking I'm going to put into my winter capsule wardrobe. Now, do you guys think that I should also kind of share, do you see the difference there? All I did was curl them. Do you, do you guys also maybe think that I should share the winter capsule with or without the fall items that I'm transitioning in? Do you think I should keep them out and just show you the newer items or show you all of them? Um, I do still have one more area. I've been doing my closet clean outs. I did my jeans first and then my tops. Um, both of those videos are already up. I do have one more that's kind of like miscellaneous stuff. Do you guys want to see it or no? Then I take my all time favorite. I have not used another eyeliner since I found these. It's called, oh gosh, this one is 
so sharpened down and I think I have one that's a little bit bigger and newer here. Wonder 2 Super Stay Liner. I use this in the dark chocolate brown and I use this to line my waterline. Because during the day, I don't want to look like I have like a full liner on, meaning up on my lid. I want it to look more like my lashes are just thicker. And that's the illusion this gives. Now, my lash combo, if you've been around here for any period of time, has not changed in over a year. The Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer is the thing I start with first. It is so good, so nice. I've used so many lash primers and this one is just my favorite. So I just do a light coating of that and it's separating out all the lashes. Hair I will do next too, but let's see here, what else? So I have been on a walking journey. I have been just really trying to get outside and do at least one walk a day. And that in theory was a great idea until we hit 20 something degrees the other day. While I let that sit for a second, I use my Car Clarins, can't speak, Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector. This, I have these in every purse, every car, every bag, every desk. I can't go without it. Feels like a lip balm, but it gives you just a tint of color. Again, just looks super natural. Then my mascara, my favorite mascara. I can not even, this is so good. It is the Tarte Tartlet. I think the name's kind of dumb, but whatever. Tubing mascara. Oh my gosh, guys. It doesn't flake. It doesn't transfer. It does not lose its curl. If you're somebody like me that I have super straight hair, super straight lashes, this holds the curl. Now I will say my lashes are super long. Can you see the difference here? But my lashes are super long because I use the new lash lash serum every night. One tube lasts me six months. And I always buy multiple sets of it when it's on sale at Nordstrom, because it's usually two of them for 95 versus one for 95. And my lashes are so long, do you see I just touched down a little bit there onto my lid. I'll show you how I clean that up. I let it dry, don't clean it right away. Then I just go back and forth, make sure they're all separated out so this is a tubing mascara, which is super nice and it really helps to lengthen your lashes. I love this. So then every day after I'm done this part while I'm waiting for anything to dry, I take my brush cleaner and just like an old rag, I spray this sponge just all around where the makeup was. I let it sit for a second and then watch this. It's crazy how good it is and how much makeup it gets off of these. And then I'd say one, once a week when I'm cleaning my brushes, I do go through also after this, like look at that. I go through after, um, I use this, I still use this. And then I actually use um, water on it as well and get it really nice and clean. But I spray it a little bit again, look at that, see? It just, it's crazy how good it gets all of this out of there. I mean, that's pretty darn awesome. So now that that has dried, I just take a Q-tip with nothing on it. It's dry, look at that, comes right off. So that is my everyday makeup. It all fits right into this little bad boy right here. I can take it with me anywhere I go. Quick, easy, this is what it looks like. It looks like a lot with my hair back now that I'm looking at it. But once I do my hair, you'll, you guys have seen it every day. It's what I wear every single day. As I'm getting older, kind of like my capsule wardrobe, I'm learning that I really don't need to go crazy with my makeup. Wear what works for me, and this works. Moving on, I just plugged my curling iron in. I am going to put dry shampoo in my hair. You might be saying, Lisa. You just washed your hair yesterday. Why are you putting dry shampoo in it? I put dry shampoo in it because it actually helps create a barrier so that my hair won't get oily or gross at the roots. 
and it gives me a little bit of volume. Next up, I'm going to take the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protectant Mist, and I'm gonna spray this all over kind of the top layer. maybe under a little bit right <laughs> all right then I'm gonna take a comb and get my part going all right that looks good I always have to see where it is then I'm gonna take some alligator clips and I'm gonna go pretty deep in on this side not leaving a whole lot twist it up clip it same thing on this side twist it up Clip it, and then I'm gonna take one more in the back. You can see right there. Take it up and clip it. Then I'm gonna take this bottom layer and just give it a little bit of that hot toddy. Oh, getting to the end on this one. All right, then I have my Bioionic, my one, it's either one and a half and one and a quarter. I have it at the middle heat setting. I think says 300 I'm not sure ever since I started using Monate products I do not need as much heat on my hair to get it to stay which is really nice all right so then I just take sections there is no rhyme or reason to it all of them are going away from my face on each side when I get to the back I kind of just switch over but I literally just take it and then I go down to the ends and then come out. So I'm not pulling the ends straight. I used to pull my ends straight. I haven't done that in a long while. I actually just go in and I do the top curl and then I kind of let it go to the end and then just drop it. So again, I'm telling you, it's nothing crazy, nothing special. So I'm gonna keep going around and curl this piece. And actually, I think I'm up, oh, nope, I got about one more. There is a, no science to how the back, where you split it, there's no rhyme or reason. Probably if you look at the back of my hair, it probably looks a little bit more textured because there's probably a mix of the different waves more so than the sides, whatever. It is what it is. So I'm gonna do this, now I switched it over. Now this side is all going away from my face on this side. This side I always, I don't know, it just lays different. Everybody has, you know, one side that's better than another, one side that lays different than another. Um, it's always just funny to me. So I started to tell you guys, I am on a mission to do at least 10,000 steps. Do any of you have something called an aura ring? I've heard a lot of good things about this. I got an Apple Watch many years ago and I liked it, but I didn't love the look of it, me personally. And I have so many like really nice watches that I was missing wearing them. And so I made the decision to not wear it anymore, but I've heard really good things. The Aura Ring I hear is even better than the Apple Watch, not for things like texting, calling, stuff like that, but it is better for things such as like your sleep, your steps, your activity levels, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna take the back and I'm not dropping all of it. I'm just grabbing a piece the size of what I want to curl and then I'm putting that back up in the clip, what's left. So I'm only taking out their little bits, bigger sections. I find the higher I go up, the thicker my hair feels and the more I have also able to make like better curls. So these are all gonna go away on this side. Again, same thing, and then work my way around. So yeah, so I'm considering an aura ring because I am on this kind of like kick. I turned 50, what, in a month and a half? And I'm kind of like, I wanna get a better handle on my sleep. I have been, I sleep great. I can knock out like that. I get up to pee a lot. And in the last couple of years, my allergies have gotten really bad and not consistently, but every once in a while, like I find myself waking up, not snoring. I mean, I guess I am probably snoring if you ask Marty, but it's not like a consistent snoring. It's like a <gasps> catch my breath. So I'm interested to see how that's affecting my sleep. Um, but I have been on a mission to also get in at least 10,000 steps. And with that, 
I was trying to do it outside consistently and take the dogs with me and all of that. But I'll tell you what, it hit 20 something the other day and I was like, nope, not going outside. I know it's good for you to still get outside and get a little bit of sunlight, but I was on the treadmill. I was like, no, thank you. Luckily I do have a treadmill, but my objective is, is to hit, sorry, I keep looking behind the camera into the mirror. My objective is to hit a minimum of 10,000 steps. So we will see how that goes for a year. That's my objective for a year. Now, when I'm at the Cape, it's going to be a little bit harder, but we'll see. So I have been talking a lot. I guess it's more over on my TikTok. I never really used my TikTok. I was never into it. I've really been enjoying it, but it's like way more casual, I guess is the right word. So I've been like just jumping on however I am and telling like, what I'm eating, what I'm making, stuff like that. So if you're interested, I will list that down below. I don't think I've ever listed my TikTok down below. I don't think. Maybe I did. So now I'm going to go to this side. Now I'm going to this side because there's way more pieces and way more weight to it. I just take a section out. It's a little bit easier here. I don't have to do it in pieces and clip it up because I can actually see what is straight on my hair because I have straight hair. I can see what is straight and what needs to be curled. So again, I'm going to keep going with this. So winter capsule is coming up and I'm so excited about it. I loved my fall capsule. It was so fun. It made it so much easier getting dressed, getting ready. It just, it's, I love it. Finding my like three words that best resonated with me and my style, which is totally making me feel so good. Every time I get dressed, I think of those three words now and it makes such a difference. So um, if you want to see how I kind of came up with those, I do have a video about that too. I've been having a lot of videos that I'm really enjoying. I've been enjoying editing again and doing stuff like that. I'm telling you. And then I'm just going to keep going, do another layer until I hit the top. Now that I get onto this top layer, I do take a little bit wider of pieces because I want it to be a looser kind of curl up at the top. Um, I don't want it to look so like ringlet tight. So I do take a little bit wider. You can see the difference in the width here of a curl. Um, again, see how I want it to be like more of a loose curl. And then I'm gonna flip over to this side do the same thing. This one should only take a second because I am doing just two of these versus as many on the other side. Now, when I do do my hair parted in the middle, it's done exactly like this, except for obviously more even from side to side as far as how many areas I have to curl or sections I have to curl because this side right now with the part being over further, has less hair. So obviously when it's parted in the center, it's a little bit more even. And I just do, again, all of them away on each side. Uh, makes it very simple, very easy to do. And we're almost there. Now I will say also, typically on an everyday, like when I'm just doing my everyday makeup, this is not what I am doing. I am not typically curling my hair and doing an all out curl. I usually curl my hair the day after I wash it or a day after that, a day or two. Sometimes I wear it a day straight, but um, I don't typically curl my hair every day because I don't want the heat on it. And so what I typically do is just curl it the first time, the first day, whatever this is, whenever I curl it. And then I tend to just brush it out in the mornings and I might add a curl or two here or there if I feel like I need it. And then. I sometimes pull it back. I do have kind of pieces cut out near my face. Um, it is a little bit lighter at my face. I haven't had it colored. I was just say curled. Colored since September. Um, I did a toner in the beginning, no, end of October. I had a toner put on it. Um, I don't have, I have a few little grays right in by my like crown, I guess. Is that your crown back here? Um, 
and like one or two down by like my ear area, but that's it. And like nothing you see. And honestly, they just kind of look like little blonde pieces. So now I'm gonna let this sit as long as I can. Typically I would curl my hair first and then do my makeup and let it sit while I did my makeup. I have let it cool, last steps. I take this, I've used this spray for years. It's from, it's a 10, it's called the Miracle Shine Spray. This is actually an old metal one. They're now in plastic. I take my brush, about three. I start underneath and I just loosely go over it. Look how pretty that curl is and it gives a nice shine to it. Makes your hair feel great. I love this. It just softens the curls. You might be saying, why are you brushing curls? Because I want them to soften. Then I take my Rejuvenique oil and I take about four drops. Um, I think this container should be gold because I call it liquid gold. I also use it to flatten down any flyaways I might have. And then I'm gonna do another three or four drops over here and kind of go with this side as well. And we are good to go. We are all done. Nice soft curls with nice shine to your hair. I love it. So that is the whole look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As I mentioned, if you want to see my full like get ready with me for when I have a date night or I'm recording a video, please let me know. That has gotten to a point as well where it really doesn't change that much. So I hope you found some little tips or tricks while you watch this and have a great weekend.